it's my birthday. I've sat, I'm saving my prizes to open later after dinner and stream, so I've got something to look forward to. Plus, I was in too much of a rush today, this, this afternoon, to do anything else. Um, oh, yeah, and it's also my four year anniversary streaming on Twitch. Yeah, that's weird, isn't it? That it's that and my birthday. They shouldn't make them with nose shapes, they're too cute. I know, should be banned. They obviously make them like that so they can sell more because people like cute things, but I don't like eating cute things. But yeah, it's my four year anniversary on Trick Twitch. I started streaming consistently. Um, on my birthday or literally the day just after my birthday i know it was the week of my birthday um i started streaming on twitch back in 2017 um i actually had an ethernet cable for my birthday that was my birthday one of my birthday presents that year and that's why i was able to start streaming consistently i did stream a few times before then but it was like barely anything it was just a handful of streams i experimented with in the year before uh, but uh it was terrible i had terrible bit rate no ethernet cable so i couldn't like really commit to it but i eventually did when i got my cable um, and I've continued ever since, aside from the odd little, little small break, now and then. Um, over those four years, and Raindrop Chronicles, um, I started that two, about two years through my streaming. Started that in 2019. So it's been, uh, yeah, four years of all streaming all together and two years of Raindrop Chronicles. I think my emote and your emote look cute together, but I'm biased, I would say that. Wouldn't I? Do you agree though? Um, okay, so that's my little history of streaming on Twitch. Uh, and uh, I'm also going to say in this live announcement, um, I also, well, if you can see the title, I've got birthday in my title, but I've also got an exclamation mark, an ex a command for you guys to, to type out. Um, funnily enough, if you do it right now, nothing appears, because I haven't wrote it yet, <laughs> but I'm going to do that now. Um, I also have something to announce. What do you reckon, Rex? That is that good enough? chat is it too vague i'm waiting for stream to build up a little bit before i spill the beans but i'm not going to drag it out for too long i think it's good yeah okay so that can go that doesn't get people in nothing well because how mysterious is that people will surely be curious I tell you it tell you this it's gonna come as a shocker hi Van how you doing it's good to see you hope you're having a good uh, morning so far how's work how's work treating you 
Right, so, we got the live announcement. Busy today, actually. Oh no, well, I appreciate the look. I hope it goes smoothly for you and no one is being a pain in the bum at work for you today. Right, folks, I actually have um, another browser window open right now that you can't see. I hope you can't see it anyway. I'm going to just check. Well, if, I, if I check and it comes up, that kind of spoils it, right? Let's have a look. No, it's not coming up. Right. So my, bra my stream has only got captured Discord at the moment, which is good because I have some windows that are a secret at the moment. I think people have this feeling, well, I don't think anyone would assume anything here because you're all awesome. But it wouldn't surprise me if folk think this is the Steam page or something because I remember saying that my ideal plan was to um, get the Steam page launched for my birthday. I remember saying that. Um, but no, that isn't the case. I'll just say that. Um, it'll be a bit longer for the Steam page. I want to make sure it's going to, you know, be its best. It's, you know because it's going to be a big thing. I'm going to contact the press for that Steam page. So it has to, I mean, it's not, I don't expect the screenshots or any clips that are on there to be final product because obviously we'll be in still the early alpha, pre-alpha build. Um, but I want it to at least be decent because contacting the press you want it to make a good first impression right so it's going to take a bit longer and I think it'll be all worth it in the end didn't see you online earlier so I wasn't sure you was even coming online so I just happened to look over while I was in Kokana stream I noticed your face on my follow bar oh it's your birthday wow one day oh really that's interesting that's cool it's always cool to meet people who have a close birthday to me or know of people that do. But yes, I am very late today. I did write a quick note in general chat in Discord just to um, give you guys a bit of a heads up that stream was going to be later than usual today. The reason for that is because I have an announcement to make today and I thought that my birthday was the perfect time to make that announcement. It's very fitting. Um, I think it's a good announcement, a positive announcement. Um, some people might be disappointed, and that's very normal if people are. I'm just a little bit disappointed, but I also know that it's like the best. And I'm going to be putting a tweet up and new, news and important news in the next few minutes. So you guys can see what that announcement is there's a video about it to a five minute video so get yourself a bit of free time spare when you can folks so you can watch that video in silence uh, I recommend probably muting the stream while you watch it because it'll probably be a bit distracting uh, listening to me and the stream um, happy birthday disappointed a little bit like some people might be but I think it's a good disappointment <laughs> if, if there's even such a thing as a good disappointment but you'll know when you see it it's really difficult to uh, um, sort of describe it when you don't know the full the full thing thank you Matt and thank you as well Van, for the happy birthday thing yes yeah, so um, I'm going to be posting a tweet and there's a video there, a YouTube video that's currently on private, I believe. And I'm going to put it off private in a minute. I'm nervous. Thank you for the birthday cakes. Appreciate it. How you doing, Matt, as well? I hope you're having a good day. Um, but yes, the clue, the biggest clue is it was a very fitting announcement for my birthday because new milestones, new chapters and all that kind of related to that. Was there a host in the corner then? I think I saw something, it might have been something else. 
Hi Dover, thank you for the happy birthday, I appreciate it. How are you doing Dave? It's good to see you. All right, so, well, I'm brave announcing this while I'm actually live. Okay, so, hello Met and Dave. How are you doing? Okay, so, there is a command. If you look in the title, folks, exclamation mark new chapter. Um, so, that is a clue. There's nothing there yet, though, but there will be soon. I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, fill up that command with a, a link in a minute. Exclamation mark new chapter. <laughs> okay, so. Um, the question is, do I announce this on Discord first or on tw Twitter first? Probably Twitter because I can then just link the tweet then. That's probably the thing to do. So keep my Twitter tab open if you're curious. It's your birthday. Hi Tox, how you doing? It's good to see you. Well, I'm not going to keep you guys curious for much longer. All I'm going to say is I've, I'm happy with this decision and I think it's going to be the best for Raindrop Chronicles as well. And myself, which is important too. Some folk might be disappointed simply because it's a, a new chapter opening and another, another one closing. So there's a, a transition, a change but it's a, a good one one that could potentially be good we don't know yet nobody knows what the future holds until it happens grats but oh my goodness thank you so much for gifting a sub to my bot where's hang on let me get the the mascot he's over here what's he doing over here <laughs> Would it make sense to play the video over the stream instead of pausing while watching? That is probably a good idea actually, Matt. I always get weird about seeing double rows on stream, but it's probably what makes the most sense I like, let you all watch it. I could always hide my cam in actually. That's probably a good idea, right? And then it doesn't look weird. It's, it's not strange because there's two rows on the screen. You should play it on the stream, awesome folks. So, yeah, we'll do that first. Uh, I'm trying to remember how I started the video now, because you might need the context of the tweet. But that's okay, we can read the tweet together first as well. Um, okay, everybody. So. And let me know if there's any problems because I think I've accidentally muted you, my YouTube browser so let me just unmute that so we don't have it in silence. Okay, that should be fine. Oh, and yes, we'll have to pause the music in the background. We'll do that now actually. Um, well guess so we completely changed the game's format to text adventure I'll give you a clue nothing about the game is changing Raindrop Chronicles is remaining completely the same um, what's changing is the way I share it with you guys if that makes sense and how we have do, do it together as a community that's what's changing but the game itself isn't maybe that's a big massive clue maybe that's revealed it all but Met's, Met's a little guest made me have to respond um taste invention <laughs> it'd be interesting but no no But you've heard the hint if you haven't guessed now then i'm not sure you will okay sure everyone's thinking that's the case now no folks raindrop chronicles is an rpg <laughs> the game nothing's changing about the, the game so that's the one positive thing 
it's the other side of the project that's changing. Okay, so I think I think now I've said that, I think the time has come to reveal it, the news. Um so I'm gonna hide my cam temporarily. I'm gonna bring it back once uh Oh, this video is finished. I'm also going to pause the music in the background. So, should be dead silent now, folks. I'm also going to turn my mic off too. <laughs> what have you guys done? All the rumours are going around now. <laughs> um, okay, so... Um... I want to make this bigger. So we'll put this at the front and we'll transform it to fit the screen. It's weird seeing uh, Oh, I don't think it'll sh does it, don't think it matters that we show the that'll do. We'll see the little feet. Of the, there we go. We'll put it like that. It will see the feet of the characters otherwise. So if we have it like that, then that'll work and everyone will see it. Okay. I've <laughs> seen the little bit. I do too, it's cute. Though it could be very distracting. <laughs> um, dun, 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 Rose becomes a Unity developer. The engine's staying the same. The genre's staying the same. Ev the story's staying the same. The Everything about it's staying the same. So, yeah. You'll know, you'll know any second, folks. Well, any minute to what he actually is. I've kind of been heavily hinted now that the thing that's changing and going into a new chapter is the other side of the project, which is um, the the way it's all, you know, not how it's developed, that's staying the same. You know, the way I handle it all with the community, the way we discuss it, the way it's streamed. That's a hint. Twitch ad for some reason, well met. Funnily enough, what you've just said about the Twitch ad is one reason for this move. Well, <laughs> what, what, what you've said about the Twitch ad is one reason why, you, you'll know it in a minute, but it's just very funny that you say that because there's, there's issues, there's things that have, decisions that have made me come to this decision I've been mulling over for months now um, and um, I haven't, it's took me ages to do it because of reasons but all the video is going to reveal all that in a minute so time to get this uh, this video off private. I'm gonna write a quick description on this video though. Okay, so. I'm unprivating this video. It's going to be on public any minute. So, save. Okay, so I'm going to put the Twitter there now. And then you'll see. Here it is. This is the tweet. So read that, folks, and then we'll watch the video.
I'm gonna send it when you when you when you Vikes in stream have seen it, I'm gonna send it. Okay, it's up. It's happened. Okay, so let's just watch the video. I'm gonna mute myself, everybody. I think this is all good. We're unmuted, aren't we? Okay, everybody. I hope you're ready to watch. <laughs> I'm on a tropical island. <laughs> it's a good, it's a good bit picture, isn't it? And yeah, it's nine seconds on the tweet because it's like the preview tease, but they've got to click the video to watch the rest because um, the problem with Twitter is that it only allows two minute videos and this is like over five minutes. So I made it sure on, on purpose so people could uh, click the YouTube. <laughs> so um there it is folks give it a like give it a comment i'd appreciate that because i think this video needs exposure in general um so um chubby have come in at the perfect time we're about to watch an important video i don't think i can um oh let's see if we can Oh, we can. We can fill the screen up with it. <laughs> okay, I'm going to press play and mute my mic because you guys want to watch this and you want to see it before anyone else on the tweet. So, off we go. Hi everyone, it's Rose here. This is why I'm leaving Twitch. I'm going to just make it louder because I realise that the speakers are on quiet. There we go. Hi everyone, it's Rose here. This is why I'm leaving Twitch. To sum it up, Twitch is no longer working for me in regards to my growth, productivity and revenue. I'm going to talk about each of these in detail and go over what my next steps are. Over the last two years, I've been developing my game Raindrop Chronicles on Twitch. At one point, streams were doing really well and they helped build traction for my game. I hit peaks of 40 to 50 viewers quite often and uh, gained about 8 to 12 followers per stream. This was wonderful, um, after all. Um, that's why I started streaming the development of games, so I could share and enjoy it with the rest of the world. But over the month, the traction stopped. Over the last six months or so, it's been common for me to get zero followers per stream. Yeah, zero. I actually see more spam bots in my chat these days than new people who are real. The sad fact is, organic growth on Twitch is now non-existent. The lack of a directory for game developers to call home doesn't help. At the time of recording this video, Twitch has shown that they don't value or appreciate game developers. Maybe one day Twitch will decide to actually support game developers and bring their directory back. Maybe tomorrow. If so, I can't promise I'll return if things are working out better for me in this new chapter of mine. I would only return if I believed it would benefit me and I was seeing fellow game developers flourish on there like they deserve. Edited 10 to 20 minute YouTube vlogs of the development is the new direction I'll be taking. I'll be releasing these every month on my new YouTube channel Braindrop RPG. 
please subscribe if you want to keep an eye on how the development is progressing. I have my fingers crossed that the algorithm will like me and the visibility will be better than Twitch. I'll also be using social media such as Twitter and Instagram more often to showcase screenshots and video clips. The time, energy and effort I've put into streaming consistently on Twitch every week on top of the development and the hard work of making a game is exhausting, especially when you can see it's taking you nowhere. I often end up accidentally crashing on my bed after stream instead of doing what I actually want to do which is to be at my desk doing game dev. As much as I enjoy interacting with my community live, it's important to get my priorities right. The fact is, as much fun as I have on Twitch, it's following my time and energy. Time and energy that could be put more efficiently into Raindrop Chronicles. Replacing my bi-weekly three-hour Twitch live streams will be the 10 to 20 minute YouTube vlogs that I mentioned before. With occasional YouTube live streams once or twice each season, I'll see those as like big events to advertise and hype up in advance. They could involve Q&A sessions with chat and general catching up, um, as well as showcasing screenshots and video clips and character and story discussions. Don't forget to subscribe to my new YouTube channel if you want to be part of any future live streams and um, experience that similar feeling to what we had on Twitch. This will help my productivity significantly. It'll allow me to work on the game with more focus and energy. And outside these occasional live streams, people will still be able to contribute and be a part of things on the Discord. Twitch has been the way I get revenue to help support me and fund the game. I don't expect anybody to still be subscribed to me on there when I've retired from the platform. I encourage anybody who wishes to support me in Raindrop Chronicles to subscribe to me on Patreon instead. Patreon will only take 5-10% to of what you give me I think, <laughs> whereas Twitch take 50%. I'll be asking my current Twitch subscribers and regular community members um, what sort of community perks and sneak peeks I'd like to see as Patreons. I appreciate those people endlessly. It's them and the incredibly fun nerdy discussions we've had on Raindrop Chronicles that's made it so difficult to make this decision. Twitch has been a part of my life for a long time and I have amazing memories. I love streaming with all my heart, but I don't think it's wise to continue streaming like this. I want to thank everyone that stuck around, liked and shared my content, lurked in my channel, especially those of you who have come to the streams every week. Thank you all for your support. Okay, that's done. I hope everybody managed to catch that. If you didn't, then it's there to watch again, if you need to. If anyone has any questions as well, feel free to ask. This can totally be a question and answer stream. Um, and you know, this isn't the last stream. I'm gonna, um, there's gonna be a gradual phase out i'm i'm thinking of going on another couple of weeks of streams to you know tidy up nicely with 100 260 streams or something um so it's not going to just suddenly stop after today um we can have a few more streams of you know setting up the patreon um talking about the future and cool things that we could do um and all, all that kind of thing um and uh thank you for your many wonderful streams yeah we'll have a big massive chat about this folks i think it's totally worth it because a lot was said in that video um i've mentioned it on streams a few times over the last few months i i don't think it's come as a shock that i'm unhappy on this platform um i try not to like get 
too ranty or too venty about things because I'm not really that kind of person but um, I have like sort of expressed um, not feeling very happy on, on Twitch for a number of reasons it was funny that Met mentioned the advert issues because that is one thing that is a problem on Twitch as well that is very annoying especially for the nature of streams that I have sad yeah honestly van and any are you guys especially the ones of you who come every stream god i totally understand why you'd be gutted you know this is difficult for me too it's took me months to sort of work up the like to work myself up to make this decision because i'm very attached to this i've been doing it for a long time and i like the way it's done i love the community live streams and that nature of the project which is why i don't want to give up on them completely um i still want to do live streams on youtube um i'm, I'm going to start seasonally um if if they work out well on there i might do them more often um but um, i'm going to start slow with that because i don't want to get overwhelmed and you know because really my focus is to get more of raindrop chronicles done the game i want more progress to be made with the game um in regards to having something playable and seeing it all come to life in a more timely manner if that makes sense because i'm very happy with what we've done um, so far especially the story character world building size of things i think it's magnificent but i want to start seeing it come to life which can be really hard to do when you a consistent streamer as well um so really putting focus on removing that part of my life will mean it could help to get things done in that regard um, I'll get my cam back up in a sec, folks, because you're just seeing pictures of videos at the moment. Um, and uh, let's uh, get this off. Um, yeah, it's going to be weird. I, I understand anyone being sad. It's normal. It would be weird if you wasn't sad, folks. I'd be kind of like, why isn't anyone sad? Um, so, you know, yeah. And at the end of that video i was talking about people like you van and met and people who've really been heavily involved with um the game and and try their best to make it to as many streams as possible um let's get this but i i mean all of you as well like people like chub cheeks and obviously rex as well people who've been here since the the start the very beginning um have been amazing the consistent continued support um and patreon is definitely where i'm gonna sign up in regards to getting the revenue side of things i'm hoping to make it very appealing with sneak peeks and exclusive content over time it's going to take time to build that but i'd love you guys to help me come up with things and ideas for what how it could be awesome as possible um the youtube side of things that's something i want to bring up as well in a minute but i'm going to just catch up with chat first i just learned that Twitch takes 50%. Wow. I would happily switch to Patreon. So thank you so much, Chubb. I mean, that's one huge thing. Um, you guys, some of you here are sub to me and have been for quite a lot of a long amount of time, which is great for me as somebody that does this the game and doesn't have any other jobs. So it's it's very, very helpful to to have that extra cash to just keep it going and um and help fund the development as well and just help me continue doing it without no hiccups or distractions because i like to do this full time forever um rather than end up getting a job to make my money up do you know what i mean and have to put raindrop chronicles on the side um I want to continue doing this full time and continue putting all my 
my work and energy into this so I do want to build up a Patreon to hopefully get that to a point where it gives me more than Twitch ever did and the fact that Patreon takes I'm not sure of the exact percentage but I think it's somewhere between five and ten percent um whereas Twitch it's 50 percent it's absolutely ridiculous I don't know how they continuing to get, keep getting away with it Obviously, if you're a large streamer, someone who's huge, have thousands of viewers, you probably won't notice. It won't affect you too much because you've got loads of subscribers anyway, right? But someone like me and other streamers who are small and growing, um, it's terrible. And there's like, it can really just affect things so that you've you, you've got no hope <laughs> like no especially when you're not seeing channel growth either like which is what another thing i'm experiencing um some of you probably remember especially if you were here in the first early days of doing raindrop chronicles that the channel was really doing well um, I was getting hitting peaks of 40 50 viewers very, quite consistently getting up to a dozen followers some streams there was always new faces in chat always and it was very very encouraging um and um that's over that's gone we we don't have anyone here now apart from the regulars which is lovely because i love talking to you guys if it wasn't for you we wouldn't have the game the story the characters we've got and have all those fun nerdy chats but as a game developer we we all will admit it we want to see that audience grow because we want to sell the game it's a product we're looking to sell at the end of the day so of course we want to see some community growth and get that word out right it's not realistic to expect to think go carrying on like that is going to work um and uh and uh, I would happily twitch, switch to Patreon, Chub Chub says. The Patreon um, link isn't up just yet. Um, on the YouTube, I have links coming soon. Keep an eye out as the description because I need to set the Patreon up. I think we'll spend next week, maybe Tuesday next week, setting up the Patreon page together and having a talk about what could go on there. Um, and yes, totally you guys cancel the twitch sub and go over to there you, you don't have to still be sub to me on here especially if i'm no longer streaming on this platform um i'm still gonna be streaming for the next couple of weeks you know i'd love to to finish off at stream 260 i think that'd be a nice tidy number um so it's not over yet it's not the last day today isn't the last day at least i didn't want to do that to you guys that would be too mean um so and um let's read i'm a bit behind on chat i wonder how we are actually going to work on things together yes good question i think that's the biggest challenge the fact that um the twitch streams really helped with um in regards to the direction to take the game, writing dialogue together, world building together, all that like significantly. All I can say is Discord, I think, is going to be something we should start at using more actively together. Um, I'll admit it, I do neglect Discord. I don't use it very often at this point in time, probably because I'm so busy, the streams tire me out. And um, I j But without the stream, I can see myself spending more time in here to start like discussing the game. And it's less intense because I can d respond in my own time um i'm not on cam I'm, i don't have to do it all a certain day for three hours um and all that thing so on the raindrop chronicle section in discord i need to get this uh, made smaller for you guys so you can actually see the screen um you can see there's a raindrop chronic chronicles channel section we can make some more channels we can we can tailor them specifically to 
to really key things that we think will need discussing. We could always make one for every character if we wanted. Every element, every law bible article we've got, we could make a channel for. If there's not a limitation on Discord, I'm not sure. Um, so we, that's something I'm going to ask you guys to give me your thoughts on how we can shape the Discord to become this like massive forum of collaboration because um, I think that that will be our key spot for the community side of things now. Um, obviously, I still want to do seasonal live streams. Those will sort of resemble what we have here on Twitch. Um, the seasonal live streams obviously will be over on YouTube, not on Twitch. Um, and I'm going to see how they, those go. If they end up a success for me, I probably could would consider doing them a little more often. Not as often as I did on Twitch, though. But we'll say seasonal for now. And obviously, 10 to 20 minute um, like vlog edited videos, I think, would benefit the visibility of the game. Because um, I see a lot of devs do that and they get reasonable view views on their devlogs if they're like short ones that are edited I've always put my VODs up on YouTube but they're like an edited mess they're all like three hours long and nobody's gonna watch them but with very bite-sized updates on the development I think that could appeal to people and we I might we might start seeing some views and more visibility on YouTube in that regard. And I think deep down YouTube is always going to give the game more visibility. If I start putting the effort into that, then Twitch ever could. Um, so it's just playing smarter, isn't it, really? It's trying to detach myself to what I'm attached to, like Twitch, and think, well, I've got to start thinking what's going to actually help and benefit. Um, and uh, will we will we still be able to offer suggestions for the country and answers of, yeah, Chubb, I want to make sure that we keep that collaboration side of things happening in the Discord. I think what we've got so far with these channels, idea discussion, skill discussion, I think it's very, very basic, and I think we can totally flesh this out so that you guys can literally say your thoughts in here whenever you like I'll also be talking in here as well when relevant um, especially you know when we start getting regular updates on the game and the scenes to watch you guys will see that you will get to actually experience the game to a higher degree because you'd be playing it and watching the scenes and you could talk about characters in there and the dialogue in there and what all that sort of thing. So for sure. Um, and uh, I subscribed to your YouTube where you had the video. Yeah, so the YouTube side of things in regards to the channel, I'm kind of torn whether I'm going to keep this channel, which I'm thinking about, but it will get renamed to Raindrop RPG. It's not going to be called Rose Ray and Blood anymore. I'd, re I'd name it after the game. Um, or start a brand new channel and call it Raindrop RPG. But obviously I'd have zero subscribers if I did that, which is a bit, well, I, it would almost feel like I had to start from the beginning. But part of me, YouTube is really weird because the algorithm, like I'm paranoid that I've ruined the algorithm for myself on this account, if that makes sense. Because I, I had a few fan videos of Game of Thrones years ago that got loads of views on this channel like tens of thousands of views and I obviously unlisted the ball because they were totally irrelevant to this channel and I've heard that YouTube if you unlist or put very high view videos on private or whatever um, it punishes you and the algorithm and I've always had this theory that that's why I don't get many views on my YouTube um so because of that I'm thinking is it smarter to just start a new channel or is that all just nonsense because it it would be sad to start a new channel and lose the few hundred subscribers I've already built for myself on here and that's a good starting point for when I start 
you know, seriously posting on him, like more seriously to have those subs. So I'm wondering what you guys think about that, all that algorithm stuff and whether it's something I should listen to and take seriously. And what you think is the wisest thing to do in regards to the YouTube channel. Carry on with this one or start fresh. Um, let's catch up with the rest. I subscribed to YouTube. YouTuber. Yeah, yeah, thank you. It's going to be more difficult without to back and forth conversations at live stream. Like, oh, yeah, for sure. Um, I think, you know, it's obviously it's going to change the project to a degree. Um it would pro it'll probably end up feeling a bit less collaborative than it does right now, but I don't, I think in the long run it won't. Um, because all that's happening, I, I get this sort of feeling that, like, although the streams are so detailed because we, we like talk so much and about it all, it's almost like the game itself isn't being made. <laughs> like, it's very slow. The development's very slow because of that. And I'd much rather see it come out at faster and then be like, hi guys, this is a scene I've worked on. This is scene, a main quest one scene three with carol or fiona or whatever give me some feedback on this scene tell me what you think and doing it that way and um still having that communication um i kind of just gets feeling like sometimes the live streams can create wasted time um but yes who knows nobody knows how this new chapter is going to go until i've been doing it for a while and we'll soon find out won't we um and I want to see the hamster video. <laughs> it's not a hamster. I want to see it anyway. This one. Let's have a look. Let's click it for sure. I found the baby stats. It's been lost. She would be normal. Do you like it, you know, Chuck? Maybe six, seven, eight. I've only been here since 2017. Well, that's how long I've been here. That's you took me. Really Hi, Jory. How are you doing? Welcome. welcome. I'm very late at responding to you so guys. I deeply apologise because I see that there's so see, much going on in chat right now. That. I'm sorry if this is being it's loud. I'm going to make it quiet. There's so much going on in chat right now and I haven't even said hi to you guys that are coming in because I'm having a ramble really well, so I'm going to get really through it now. Um, right, I'm going to get the... Prepared. I'll put this in chat for you, Chubb, just very quickly if you want to see it because I'm going to be going back to the Twitter now. I'm going to keep this tweet up because um, so anyone coming in can say and this is what the discussion is about today. Why is it buffering? There we go. Um, all right, so Van said, I've only been around over a year. I'm not such an awesome person at Patreon stuff just because of my own finances, but I'm happy to continue helping with the art store and stuff. Yeah, like obviously financially supporting the project isn't forced. Um, there's plenty of you here that take part in the, the collaboration side of things. Um, and that's not a rule. It's it's not a rule, oh, you have to sub or be a patron to get involved. That's not a rule because I know deep down that just because someone's got the finances to help support me as a developer in the game doesn't mean they're going to be the best world builder or the best writer. Sometimes it's the ones that actually aren't subs that are really good at giving some... Uh, thoughts for the game so because of that i've never ever wanted to have forced um like you have to pay this to to have feedback or anything like that that's never felt right to go that way but obviously i think for those that do decide to go on the pay to help me out in the patreon we'll have to have some sort of perks to make it like worth the while and to sort of thank them for helping out so um, it'd be interesting to have a think about what they could be. But it's not going to be anything like, oh, you can only have story ideas if you... That that will be the Discord. Anyone can come in the Discord for free and have feedback. So that, that side of thing is fine, Van. Um, 
If I'm sub for you on Twitch, do I still get my bit emotes? I can't lose in my hard <laughs> break. From what I'm aware, I mean, don't um, don't count me on it, Chug, because I don't know for sure. But I have a feeling that it's only the bat emotes that you'd lose. Um, the Woody, Carol, and Meryl. I might think I'm with you forever. But don't count. Like, that's just what I think. I obviously make sure and find out for sure. Do take my word for it or ask someone else. Um, so obviously if you adore the bat emotes, then obviously stay subbed if you want to. If if you really like those emotes, or I mean the woody one, I mean I, I think that doesn't matter. I think that will stay. You'll you'll but you know, don't I'd be surprised if anyone was still subbed to me on here like that's not forced at all so it's all up to you guys um but remember you know 50 twitch take 50 50 on here um they always have done whereas patreon like take a far lesser amount which is brilliant which means that i could have i could very likely get more on patreon in no time because just because of that just because of the the revenue split um and uh well those people get a better deal they do i hear you that's why i continue to work from home and well couldn't you do youtube live yes that will be what i'll be doing when i do the live streams folks um i did mention it on the video that i'll be seasonally is the plan with youtube live streams i don't want to throw in the towel with live streaming completely you see folks because i think it's still it's still valuable to have that community chat and that sort of feedback even if it's happening way less often um and what i'm planning to do when the time comes when i'm like oh, i'm gonna have the youtube live stream august the 10th or whatever just say that as a random day um i would advertise it i'd make a little graphic visual for it and be like i'll be over on youtube streaming on this date and we're going to be talking about this and um, because they're so few and far between those streams um maybe people will sort of be like oh okay i'll show up for that one and um and also it's not going to feel like too much effort to make a graphic for it because it's like special um, if I was making a graphic for every single stream I was doing on Twitch, for example, the twice a week schedule, that would be exhausting. Um, and for much bigger streamers, Twitch takes less of a... Oh, really, Rex? They take less? What is it for, for larger ones? That seems a bit unfair, doesn't it? And what is the percentage there? The percentage for Patreon is... It's somewhere between 5 and 10%. I've heard some say 5% and I've heard others say 8%, so I'm not sure what the exact amount is. Um, I've always, I've thought about Patreon for a while, in all honesty, folks, but the only reason I never went for it was because I, there was already Twitch as the form of people to sub and I didn't want to like sort of be like oh yeah twice you can sub to me if it's a little bit greedy I know so I think but now and also because of the effort of setting up a Patreon as well and coming up the perks never really had the time but now you know I'm moving there um I'll be able to think and uh yeah and um I think with Patreon it can work that you can you can also sub for one month if you want if but then you don't have to do it forever either. I'm gonna have to look into how it works. So you could you could some people could do that if you're short on finances, um, and uh, depend on the streamer. But they renegotiate with those streamers. They take a lower percentage from the bigger streamers to keep them happy, and they get enough money from the bulk viewership. Yeah. Yeah, it seems unfair for sure. And so, for example, Coconut isn't split at 50 50 Twitch. It's probably something more like 20 80 where he's getting the 80. That's just a wild guess, though. Could be more, could be less. But I know it's different for them. Yeah. 
Is partnership a small cut by Twitch or is his contract with them that does that? And I think it's a good idea. It seems very slow on Twitch to make a game. Hi Yorkshire, sorry about taking so long to say hi. It's, I feel so because with the pace we're going at at present, we, we could be looking at years to see anything for episode one and like years and years and that's just episode one um and obviously i know i'm saying that this project is something i see as a lifetime thing and i'd continue to do it until i'm however old um just like any writer would a novelist like george or R. martin he's took blooming decades to write game of thrones musicians you know they commit their whole lives to their hobbies and their books and music and i treat raindrop chronicles in a similar way you know every few years there might be a new episode out once we get going but of course i don't want it to take forever like i'd still like to think that it was progressing at a decent pace um and i i, I just believe it, it's gonna help um uh, also for affiliates to get paid out they need to have made more than a hundred dollars so it's quite possible that the sub money by supporting rose will very slowly get to her yeah that's the thing um you have to get a hundred dollars and which is a bit unfortunate because it's like oh what if you like just get a bit less and it stays like that forever like imagine like when i've left twitch and i've got like 90 dollars and everybody's unsubbed and i'll never get that 90 dollars that's what that means right how gutting um we could have voice chats in discord that's possibility if like we we really want to um if, if there's a very, very complex conversation and it's going to take too long to type and there's a lot to discuss, that's always an option. I, I wouldn't say never. Um, and uh, I guess it all depends what it is we're talking about. And it exists. Voice channels are in Discord, so that's totally possible to do if we wanted to. Um, and... Happy birthday to Rose. Thank you, Rod. I appreciate that. Exclamation mark Discord. Yeah, join the Discord, folks, if you're not in there already, because this is going to be the place. I know I neglected at the moment. I'm bad. Really don't talk in there much at all. But this is going to be an excuse to talk more in there. And I really want to expand these channels. This isn't enough. We need, we need loads. Does anybody know the channel limit on Discord? Because I'm not actually sure. I'd be intrigued to know if it, there's a limit. Because if there isn't a limit, I'd be totally tempted to make one for every sort of uh, law bible article we've got. And every element of the, the game. It all depends if there's a limit. Um, uh Possibly a channel for character discussion, world building discussion, yeah. So we do, we don't have character or world building at the moment, so that's great. I guess it depends how in-depth we want to go. If we want to have a character development channel and actually have, then have um, ones for specific characters coming from that. Like we make an actual category called character development and have four channels of some of the bigger more current characters in here we could always have like the more major current characters have their own channel and then um all the other characters just have the, a general character channel for example something to that degree if, if uh, there is a limit um most of the time when I check you out on Twitch, you seem to be on a tech stock or a Photoshop, which kind of gets a bit boring after a while. Maybe if you mix it up with map making and some eventing, you might appeal to new people on YouTube. Yeah. So that's the thing. I mean, the nature of how we did the streams, um, they're three hours long, twice a week. And I do upload those vods to YouTube, but nobody is going to sit through three hours of odds of all those streams are they even if they're the number one fan um you might if you're like super interested but it's unlikely i think so i get it 
that that format is definitely not ideal it's good for the community because it's good for those of you that are really into the game but it's not good for people who don't know so much about the game so i'm thinking the new approach we're doing the like short vlog youtube videos is gonna be beneficial for people like that like new people and people who are just finding out about the game um because it's gonna just be easier to sort of watch it um and take it all in bit by bit what's happening and like sort of just mentioning the highlights of what's been done and what's been focused on so far um being able to say sum up everything i've said done in august of 2021 in 15 minutes is much easier than people watching three hours of eight streams that happened in august right um so it definitely is yeah i'd keep that channel and discord does let you do video of the screen on voice chat if you really want to do some stuff in real time if you ever want to do that and record it to put on youtube maybe on a channel where everyone but you is muted so we're still responding via text there interesting yeah we'll think about things like that we'll start with doing it just by text in the channels and um, we'll see how it goes and if we ever do feel we need a more deeper discussion about anything then maybe we'll say um I would have just left the geo the game of fraud stuff up people shift things all the time yeah so that's the thing at the time when i privated the video i didn't realize about the algorithm i was a massive noob so i didn't realize it was going to affect me and i just at the time i was just like oh i just don't think it's relevant to the channel and it'll confuse people who who watch that game of friends video and they see it's a game dev channel and it would you know and all that so because i've also you hear mixed messages i've heard it's bad to have a youtube channel where you've got like different niches that are opposite but then i've heard it's bad to sort of delete your old videos or unlist them as well um those brand new videos bit you in the ass i know they're still there they're just unlisted so people can still watch it it's just not like there on my videos um, they have to know the link. Some people enjoy seeing the other side of a developer. Yeah, if I could turn back the clock, I'd probably do it differently now. Um, but it's all already been done and the algorithm ruined my channel. So that's just what's happened. I do wonder if making the videos public again is the opposite effect to makes you look like you're getting a lot more views. You reckon that would work if I made it public again? Do you think it's worth trying? Do you think that I should? Um, it's cute, I want it as a mountain hamster. Oh gosh, I'm really behind. This I had that hamster up like ages ago. <laughs> I'm really behind in chat. Um, I'm pretty sure that's the case too. I have some. I'm going to get this up again because I want you guys to like it or write a comment. That'll be really awesome. Um, so I'm going to keep it there so you guys. Oh, I didn't even put the new chapter thing there. Oh, well, I'll just type, type that there. Okay, so let me catch up with chat. I apologize for anyone popping in and how slow I'm being, everybody, upon me with getting through the chat today um i'm pretty sure that's the case too i have some bit amounts from people i'm not sub to yes so yeah fuck chub if you are unsub to me on here you still get a woody so that's good just got asked for your youtube earl because someone wanted to describe i just realized what your earl is it should be rain rose, rose rain blood it used to be like my old name but i changed the customer so you should be able to see it just from youtube.com slash rose rain blood um all my links are here so there it is um yeah so I, I one thing i am thinking of doing if i do keep this channel and don't make the new channel 
um, for YouTube, I will change my name to Raindrop RPG on there rather than Rose Rain Blood. I think I want to start making the game more of the face of it all rather than me. I mean, the, the dev and the studio and that are important, but I think I want to make Raindrop RPG the name for itself and that being the one that gets the attention. Um, it's surprising how much Twitch takes. Yeah, it's shocking and really unfair to, like, say, streamers of my size and even streamers who are larger than me. Um, each partner contract is a little different. Happy birthday. Thank you, Titan. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. I want you guys to see at least see what the tweet says. It was cut off then. If anyone wants to see, here it is. I'm putting in chat. Please give it a like or even a comment if you want to be even nicer. Um, so if a small streamer only has one sub, they only get paid in 20 months. Um, give or take, wait, 40 months because 50%, something like that, Chub. Yes, it would be very unfair. <laughs> um, Hi BT, sorry to hear you decided to stop streaming as a fellow game dev, I can understand. I feel Twitch doesn't recognise game developers and I got sick of spam bots and people coming to use me for help with their homework, etc. Yeah BT, totally can relate to that. Which was, I was at first keen to help but then it got distracting. I've taken a break since December from streaming. Yeah, so totally don't blame you. Um... Game development isn't exactly thriving on Twitch. Um, that might explain why there's a lot of indies out there that don't bother. Because there isn't many indies that stream on here. Um, there are a few that do, but they're all very frustrated. Because Twitch won't add a game dev category. They're still ignoring it. It's just making me lose a lot of respect. And I just get angry all the time. So... Because um, all we get now is spam bots in this channel. Um, especially when it was so good before. We had like loads of new people every, all the time, every stream. We had dozens. Um, so uh, to, for it to go down that much, just because there's not a game dev category. Um, I mean, I'm not, I don't want to like blame it all on that, but I think that's partly the reason because there's just no discoverability in, in any of these channels, just chatting or science and technology. Um, I'm just like way at the bottom. And I know for a fact that when I first started streaming Raindrop Chronicles, I looked science and technology, I was on the second row. So that's why I was having people come in. But back then, animal cams and weed growers didn't exist. Um, from what I'm aware of, they weren't around back then, or there was barely any, if there was. Um, so I, all I remember was I was like pretty high up back in 2019 and very early 2020. Um, but it's not like that now. I'm like buried these days. Um the limit is like a hundred, a hundred Discord channels is the limit. Hmm. We'll have to be clever about it then. I think what we could do is have a stream next week where we like together we, we organise the Discord channels. We're not going to get time today now because there's too much discussion going on, but we'll just com we'll do a massive Discord. Like we'll literally hit that hundred channel limit if we have. We do we'll do that folks we'll make it look so exciting that everyone will want to join our discord and chat in there um and um, it's going to be a challenge of mine to keep that discord active as well i want to encourage um new people to join as well like outside of discord on other platforms if i can and when I do my YouTube vlogs, I'll be advertising the Discord on there and Patreon as well. Um, if it's a paid server, it can reach higher. Oh, right. Interesting. Thanks for letting me know that because I was curious if there was a limit. Um, yeah, it sucks for sure. Rex says, I think a lot of it could be sold to the game dev category, but they weirdly refuse to do that. Yeah. 
I think it could help. I have this feeling it might not solve all the problems, but I just think it's going to help surely with discoverability because naturally people who are interested in game dev will um, like search game development and see who's streaming. So surely that would help. There used to be one apparently before my time. Even programming seems distinct from science and technology. Yeah, um, it's weird how they just got rid of it. It really is. Um, and I think they should make more. I think they should have a programming channel, a game dev channel, and a creative writing or world building channel, or both. Um, I think they could really have so many more creative categories. One thing that really bothers me is how on the main page of Twitch, there's not even a creative... Um, where is it? I'm going to go on there. And again, folks, I'm very slow with chat today, but I will read what you say, I promise. Um, on Twitch, they've got games in real life, music and esports. This is what people see when they go on Twitch for the first time. Um, there's no creative. Like, someone on here would be just assuming that creativity doesn't exist on the platform. I mean, art's only shown up here in science and technology because I go in them, so it's recommended to me. But they really need to have creative as a category here because the creative categories are just under in real life, which isn't what it is. <laughs> Being creative isn't real life. It's escapism. It's fiction. How is that real life? far from real life so i really um i don't i don't belong on this platform and uh it's just i just it's not helping it's not i, I could still be in this situation this time two years down the road you know and we'd all be here our little community together but no, no progression no growth and i want to move on i want to see progression i want to see this project start to really thrive and you know what I mean? So let's catch up with chat. Um, there used to be one. Yeah, read that. Oh, the, quit, the Twitch app closed itself on me while our Wi-Fi was messing up again. Oh, no. See, Twitch, even the Twitch app is letting us down. Look, it's my birthday. I've got the birthday balloons. I'm probably going to make this my pinned tweet. Now it makes more sense to do that. So I'm going to pin that as my tweet, folks. Um, there we go anyone coming in can read that now um, everything that I find says the limit for channels in one discord server is 500 read it ever is that the free one now or is that because we're going to test this on Tuesday we're going to really push discord to its limit okay folks <laughs> we'll make as many channels as we can um oh they raised it since i last checked really cool that means that we're not limited then which makes discord really awesome to do it in better than i thought if they allow that many even 100 could have probably been enough but at least that means when there's more characters and more things more articles we're not going to feel like we have to delete old ones if that's the case um completely agree and what's odd is that there's a twitch suggestion box and adding a game dev category is one of the highest ever voted up yeah it's i think ultimately that's been the biggest frustration the fact that twitch ignore people it's it's like they really just don't give a damn about game devs, which is very, like, it's offensive because we re game devs work really hard. They're very talented people. Twitch is a gaming platform, so they should be valuing game devs unless they only value the game devs that bring them in the money, but they don't care about indies because it's not, in not, not enough of money made for them. I've been constantly tweeting them this past couple of weeks. I've been having a go at them. Well, I haven't. I've tried to be as polite, but as firm as possible. 
um, and they've ignored everything. Even other people, even partnered streamers have tried messaging them and they've ghosted and blanked them as well. So they're just, it's not even just me, it's everybody <laughs> that they're ignoring. It's terrible. And yeah, it has thousands of votes, thousands of votes on that page and no response. Things we've less have had responses, so what's going on? I'd love, I really, really hope, even though I'm not going to be on Twitch anymore, I really hope that the game development category comes at some point for game devs um, because I want to see them get what they deserve. Um, and I'm not saying I'll never be on Twitch ever again in my life, who knows? Years down the line, when, say, Raindrop Chronicles and our community is even better and even stronger, I might feel like coming back, but that's way into the future at this point. I think I, I want to experiment with this new chapter and see how it goes. And I'm going to just see who's coming. Oh, my God, folks, there's so many of you coming. Hi, Beard. I'm going to just say hi to everyone that's coming. I see Beard's coming. Um, Zexy came in. How are you doing? I'm going to catch up with everything you folks have said. Um, thank you for letting chat know I'm behind. Today has been surprisingly chatty in in a stream. We do tend to have some chatty streams here in this channel, but today has been, wow. It's, the chat's been like this, so I'm so behind. I'm like still way up the top. So I'm still reading all the chats from like half an hour ago. Um, and everyone's saying such interesting things that I'm just rambling on and on and on. <laughs> Reading, I'm like talking about each comment for about 10 minutes, so it's taking even longer to, uh, to, to, to get through chat. Chicken dog face, thank you so much for the 100 bitters. I super appreciate that. Thank you so much. And Beard, yeah, you're in the top 10 because those raindrops you had were like massive and nobody could ever even dream of catching up <laughs> like like for example vandalia who's one of the like loyalist community members here is like still trying to overtake people like you guys right so <laughs> it's pretty you must have been here so often beard back in the day to um because yeah <laughs> Let's uh, catch up with chat. I want to get through chat quick if I can, but at the same time, I want to make sure I'm responding to everything properly. Um, where was I? Uh, are you sure you're not thinking of the maximum number of servers that you can be part of? Because that's a hundred. Oh, okay, maybe that's the case. Um, and I'm glad it's 500 though, because that's loads for us for the for the Discord. Happy birthday, said to you, live with Twitch. A strange thing I saw during my nine month streaming is that you get people watching your stream daily, join us, and they subscribe somewhere else instead of supporting you. Nobody's ever forced to subscribe to me. I mean, it's it's lovely and it helps massively. Um, it takes a massive weight off your shoulders when you have that sort of when you have financial support because then you know you can carry on with your dreams without the fear of having to give them up right so of course um but at the same time i'd never be like you better sub or you're banned <laughs> everybody's allowed to take part and collaborate and sort of talk about the characters and world here even if they're not sub and i'm not going to put any restrictions like that on like the discord when we make all these channels um, you know, they'll be like, you'll be free to just pop in and talk in all of them at whoever, whoever, whenever they please, unless of course they're a troll and they'll get banned then of course. Um, but, uh, yes, um, Patreon will be a thing. And of course there's going to have to be perks. We're going to have to have perks, otherwise no one will ever sub to me on there. So we'll have to have a think about that too. Um, and then they add categories all the time. Any time a new game comes out, they've got a category for it and they've got categories for games no one ever plays as well. So it makes no sense why they wouldn't just whip up one considering so many people want it. Yeah, someone even joked that they would make 
a game development um, game, a game called game development, and then we could all use that. But sadly, that wouldn't get any visibility because it wouldn't be uh, under the creative section, would it? Um, uh, I was streaming C++ game develop uh, development, um, see people doing some pretty boring stuff with 5, 10 viewers, not that I did it for the viewers. Yeah, everybody's opinion of boring is different now, like, what I do, some people might think it's the most fun thing in the world if they're like an, an absolute nerd for just rambling on about characters and they're very attached to Carol the Barrel and some of the others we've made. If you're like that and you're just an absolute geek for seeing those characters get developed, then you you love it here and you won't find it boring. But other people who like shiny, flashy sort of battle systems or stuff like that might find these streams very boring. It's all just about what people are into. Everybody's different. And I know I have a niche here. It's not going to be um, everybody's cup of tea, especially not like COD fanboys or dude bros, but I really wouldn't want them in my stream either, so it suits us fine that way. The good thing about this stream is it tends to, and what we do in general, it's always tended to draw cool, nerdy people here, and that's kind of what the whole point was. Um, and... Uh, might be. I checked about two years ago when thinking of how to reformat my project server, so my memory is probably fuzzy. But does it wear you down when you get spam bots coming in and stream for hours or even get raids where one person talks, which I think is because that person is just bringing in all the random view bots which accumulated on their channel. Raids, no matter how small, even if it's a one view raid, I'm very, I love it. You know, anybody, any viewer that comes in, I, as long as they're a real person, I'm, I'm very happy. Um, I don't like the bots, of course, but they're just annoying because they spam in the chat and um, there's been a lot of those recently on Twitch. I don't know why, but there's more bots than there ever has been. More than real people. <laughs> more than real new faces, which is very sad. And it does wear me down, that's why I'm stopping streaming. Um, by the way, Rose is a bit behind chat. Yeah, thank you, Rex. Content is content. If you have them separated in the playlist, then it should be fine. Yeah. I might think about bringing it back just to see if it helps. Um, but what do you reckon? Do you reckon I should keep this YouTube channel I've got? Where is it? Um, Hi, everyone. It's Rose here. So, oh gosh, I'm on a devlog I was looking at. Interesting, actually, because I was looking at this devlog and I thought they're a really good example of something I'm inspired by in regards to how they do their devlogs. Um, they're like, you know, tw 10 to 20 minute uh, long devlogs um, where they show off the game and chat and talk about what's been done and what's been added. And they have less than a thousand subscribers, but look at how many views their devlogs are getting. It's absolutely fantastic. Um, I don't know how they've pulled that off, but if I would, I could only wish for something like that. A channel with less than a, a thousand subs getting those sort of views. Now that's inspiration. So I'm going to be looking at channels like that, <laughs> not to copy them because obviously. We've got our own thing here, but I'm kind of curious how they do it, right? Because uh, I want to see some of that for us with Raindrop Chronicles. Um, and uh, I came to Sarah late, decided a break was better than quitting for good, time to reflect and find new directions. Yeah, like, well, we're not really quitting here. Like, everything's carrying on. I'm more passionate about the game than ever. Um, I'm actually doing this for the sake of the game. So, yeah, it's quit quitting Twitch. But Twitch is such a small part of this and me and what I am. Um, I did think I'd be on it for longer. I thought we could hit a thousand streams, of, you know. I thought we could be doing this for the whole development of all the episodes. But it, it might have been different if I was seeing some visibility but I'm not, so you have to change your tactics. 
Otherwise, when episode one finally does come out, there'll be no one playing it other than you guys. And although that'd be nice, I'm, I'd be very happy to, that you guys would play it. I want, I want more. That you know, that hard work. You want to see some sort of success from it at least. Um, I I just kept streaming to no one except occasionally my boyfriend and once in a blue moon friend. So gave up after a while. Yeah. Um. I I was very lucky in that way that as soon as I started streaming, I kind of hit 20 plus viewers quite on average quite regularly like even in the early days I was very lucky um and I think be, when you start off so well like that especially seeing followers coming in so fast and regularly it can be even more of a bummer when you end up getting zero followers for for six months like the last since 2021 started, I've probably had like a dozen, couple of, you know, a couple of dozen followers at most. And that's terrible for my channel. Like I'm used to getting hundreds of followers um, in six months, not like a handful. Um, so, and I think you should reopen the Game of Thrones videos and put them in a playlist. People might see those and check, might check them out. But I'm slightly embarrassed. Um, about the Game of Thrones videos because it's very cheesy. <laughs> Who did anyone here ever watch my Game of Thrones videos? <laughs> They'd be like, "Oh my God, what's this that Rose has done?" I'm, I, I mean, don't get me wrong, I like it because that was my thing. That was what I liked in Game of Thrones. But people would look and sort of laugh, <laughs> probably, because it's extremely cheesy. Um, current time is 5.17 UK time for when you get to this. Oh my God, Chubb, it's 5.40 now. So, wow, I'm sly. Am I catching up, guys, or am I still sly? Uh, <laughs> yeah, a lot of channels that branch out. And uh, let's get this up again. Like it, guys, like it. Give a comment. I'll, I'll respond to you all after my stream as well. A lot of channels that branch out make a new channel but just leave the old videos where they are. Use playlists on the new channel linking to old videos. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'd, I'd, I'd want to do it as others do it that have, have got a successful channel. If that's what they do, if they keep all their old videos up and just put them away in a playlist, then um, I'll do the same. Um... Because I did consider starting a brand new channel up for YouTube with zero subscribers. Only because I had fears that the algorithm hated me on this current YouTube channel of mine. Um, but it does make sense to carry on on this channel. Because I've already got a few hundred subs on there. And it would be a shame to lose them. Not all of them are going to know about the new channel. So, and yeah... Um, happy birthday, thank you, BT, I appreciate it. And also, artists do things like that all the time to get people to notice them. Fan art of Marvel or Final Fantasy fourteen characters, speed drawings and all sorts of things to get eyes on the channel. Yeah, maybe I, I should branch out more often <laughs> to get people watching. Um, it's still your old name for me, is it? I mean, it doesn't matter if it's still Sugar Monster. I mean, that's nothing to do with uh, what I am now, but it's not like it's some deep, dark secret that I don't want anyone to know about because that's what my YouTube channel used to be called before I was even, like, Rose Rainblood. Um, but it, it should still be Rose Rainblood, you know. It should be both, <laughs> so... Yeah, I don't know how to get rid of the sugar monster name. Um, Maybe if there's a way I would, but seems like I can't. Um, I think it still switches back up, back or forth because I've seen it. Maybe because Chum and Rex have been on the YouTube since it was called that is why you see it because it's in your cat, like your history or something. Um, I'd be curious if a new viewer would see that. They don't recognise games as streamers, but they are sure bit big into hot tub streams. I'd say the reason for that is because it brings in the monies, right? 
it brings them a lot of money and that's all they care about sadly not about um people that really bust their ass off to make games day and night which is very disappointing because if if it wasn't for game devs games wouldn't exist twitch wouldn't exist what really annoyed me was when twitch put up this the other day this this tweet this god of war tweet name a iconic father and you know they were taught everyone was talking about game good character games and i'm like you know one of the game developers these characters don't exist and they didn't even reply so that's not even a surprise because i've tried to message them loads now and everything's been ignored other people that that user voice game dev submission gets comments daily from people begging twitch to reply to just reply people are saying you don't have to give the game us the game dev just re reply to us please tell us w what something anything but nothing just ghosted this is what happens when a company becomes too big for its boots. It, I don't. I doubt there was like this once upon a time. Maybe when Mixer was around, there weren't like it because there was competition. But now, no, there's none out there, so they can behave how they like. Um, I think players as well as fellow programmers, developers want to be engaged in the development progress. Yeah, I think especially nowadays um you know it's a it's very beneficial as a game developer to get your players involved um to some degree i know that some game devs probably very have a lot of pride and they want to do things their way which is fine i can totally understand that myself over time as we've got further through game raindrop chronicles i've start, started to want somewhat more control than how it was in the beginning so I can totally get that. But it's it's that sort of community, that feedback, that collaboration, talking about the way the character arcs can go in the world and the dialogue and all, all of it is something I never want to give up. It'll always exist. Um, it'll it the only thing that's changing is the way it's done, of course. We we're approaching it on other platforms now. Um, rather than relying on Twitch and I think it's a good thing I think it's very healthy to not get yourself too dedicated to one platform because you just don't know like Twitch could just die one day like I could have been happy on Twitch and it could have just died like Mixer did and imagine how gutting it would be if that was something I counted on so in that way it's good to sort of spread yourself like and, and be flexible with where you can go and and things um hey rose happy birthday just watch your announcement sending lots of looks look forward to the vlogs thank you zexy yeah i'm sure many people will watch those way more than they do the three hour vods that are up there because they're just broken down into smaller segments and it's going to just be way easier to watch things like that and i'm going to try and keep as regular as possible with them vlogs once a month is how i'm seeing it one because i think in a month there's going to be enough to talk about that, that's been done so it's going to be really cool to like see that progress over the next year um it, you know it's the game development is still we're not quite there with the first playable demo build just yet i was hoping for a release earlier this year but the house move um, you know all, all the disruption since then has delayed that but I'm still very keen to get a demo the, out this year um, for sure and I think that's still very possible um, and uh, especially if it means they can get a spot in the thanks credits oh yeah for sure you guys will be in the credits no doubt about it we talk about support local businesses, but I hear little of that applied to the indie devs on Twitch. Yeah, it's they don't care. It's, we're probably too indie for them. We have to be uh, like Activision for them to like us. That's probably it, sadly. Um, sure, hand all your money to CD Projekt Red for a botch game. <laughs> 
Bilberty Pets touch those are living set. I I really well I'm probably in the minority, but I like cyberpunk, so but um it was a bit broke and I'm not gonna deny it there was bugs, but I just I still liked it and played it when it was a buggy. Eh? Um but um the sad thing about the world now talking about that is there's a lot of hate thrown about about even small things sometimes it's deserved don't get me wrong and people deserve to get called out and companies ripped apart and that if they're not doing what they should but sometimes people do jump on the mob don't they on that bandwagon and yeah sometimes that can tear apart people in uh hard-working people that probably really don't deserve it so that's a bit of a scary thing about our world now too um follow age oh my gosh tox you've been here for like forever and maybe there needs to be a rival streaming platform for creators and game devs no hot tubs allowed them ben bezos can we buy it out and we win i think all we really want is a streaming platform that will listen you know, to to not get a response is um is very rude, very rude. Especially when really established partners, streamers are, are begging for this. I understand them not listening to me because I'm a I'm a small fish in a big pond. But there's people out there that have you know they've got big followings that again are ignored. It's terrible. Your displayed front page is different from mine. What front page is that? What front page? Um, happy birthday, Rose. Hi, Chill. Oh, my God, I've just got to the Swedish beard now. Oh, my goodness, I'm so sly. How are you doing, beard? If you're still here, that is... <laughs> God, I'm so sly. To me, it's sounding like they might be trying to minimise the space for streamers who do things that get more, more easily get them sources of income external to streaming stuff like selling games. Yeah, that's probably the case. Missed your beard, missed you as well, Chub. I reviewed every benefit of the server boost and none of them mention an increase on the channel limit. Oh, okay. So, yeah, 500, if that is the case, it's 500 Discord channels. I think we'll be fine with fitting plenty in. Um, and that's what we'll do next week. We'll probably work on um, getting our Discord set up and discussing where we can take the Patreon as well. And maybe also um, what sort of, what could be in the vlogs as well and things like that. Anything that's to do with the new direction of, the content anyway because what are we on we're on stream 256 or is it seven i think we've got three or four streams left anyway i think it's four so we'll go until stream 260 before we say before we finish on twitch so that's still another couple of weeks of me that you've got that you have to put up with folks um but I'm not gone. Like, if you think, oh, no, I'm going to really miss Rose, you know, there's no need because I'm going to be on here. Um, you might, you're not going to see my face until I bring out a vlog <laughs> and until I do a live stream when I, whenever I do them on YouTube. But I'm still here, you know. You, you just have to type in something in one of the channels we write and I'll be there. And I'll be on, the twi I'll be on Twitter as well. Um... I voted that up too. Oh, which one did you vote up? Without games, Twitch would be nothing. Yeah, it's what started it all. I'm still top 10. What? Well, too many channels can be bad for discussion after a point since it can fragment conversation. Maybe I can get that, but maybe for what we do, it could be, it could help because then we've got what's relevant in each channel. Um, and then like for example if say it's, we're talking about Nigel, Nigel Buckington and we actually have a character development channel for Nigel Buckington then, then we know that 
when we click that, we'll get all the Nigel relevant discussion and we're not going to be talking about other characters and that. So it, it all depends, at, you know, how we see it fit. Just because we start one way doesn't mean we'll, we'll keep it that way forever. It could always be adjusted as if we feel something needs to change with the Discord. Um, but I am kind of excited about having lots of channels. Um, without games, Twitch would only consist of hot tubs. Um, how are you, Rose? Miss your lovely self. I'm doing great, Beard. I feel like a weight is coming off with this removal of the Twitch live streams because it's just going to help me focus more. So I can't help but feel a bit of relief there. Don't get me wrong, I'm going to miss these chats, these regular chats. Um, and that's the reason it's taken so long to do this. I think I'd have nipped it in the bud earlier this year if if it wasn't for that. If it wasn't for me um, really enjoying these, I probably would have nipped it in the bud earlier in the year. But no, um yeah okay ah uh, raindrop it's gonna dare me later about some stuff some ideas you have since you're such such an awesome storyteller thank you beard yeah feel free to and of of course the you're always welcome to chat in the discord when we get the channels up as well and be trying forever i was here every stream for like an entire year yeah i only trial wrecks we used to be a tight-knit little crew in your streams three four years ago yeah we were we were suit. We were a gang. Hi, Kelly. How are you doing? Well, come. I'm so sorry about my slow reply. I'm very behind in chat. I think I'm slowly catching up, though. You consider yourself a dude, bro? Do yeah? We're the only dude, bro, here. Maybe, maybe there's others. <laughs> yes, I recommended you to keep the current YouTube channel and mail it. Mate playlists for topics all right then yes keep the youtubes thank you carlos for the follow carlos you're the first follow we've had since forever <laughs> and i love your youtube channels the game devlogs have been really interesting oh that's great thanks for the feedback because hearing that like makes me want to keep that there not that i would have deleted them anyway because it would have affected the algorithm if I did anyway, and the algorithm would hate me if I deleted them or put them in private. But knowing that, you know, they're not just a mass of mess is, um, but it encourages me to keep things as they are, which is great. And, you know, years down the road, those, those YouTube bods might seem pretty outdated. But it still could be hard. Some people might still like to look just to see how things used to be back in the day. Can I DM you later? Yeah, totally you could DM me. Remember your Beauty and the Beast video? It was be you liked it, Chubby. Didn't think it was cheesy. Eh? Never saw your Game of Thrones videos, but I have noticed the Discord emote. Yeah, <laughs> so I probably put them on private before Zexy could uh, see them. Game of Thrones watch nights, that was awesome with the game. Yeah, we, we watched the whole of Game of Thrones, a marathon, didn't we? On, on Rabbit. Remember Rabbit? It, that died, didn't it? We got green screen issues again because it's gone super sunny. I hope it, the sun goes in soon. You've been really slow, lol. It's weird if you click your name on the search result page, it takes me to a page with a sugar monster out. But if I click your name in one of the videos, it takes me to a rose rainbow doll. That's so strange. I wonder if there's a way to fix that. Twitch ignores everyone except for the biggest streamers. Yeah, again, because money capitalist pigs they are not gonna lie i kind of hope they get some hard lessons in the future twitch i hope they experience some hardships and have to change the way they do things um thank you for the happy birthday kelly i appreciate it took me three months to get my twitch account back af after it being hacked email twitch support 
15 times in three months until they actually listened and helped. And they, then they banned my account one week later due to thinking my payments were illegal. I paid for two subs then. It took another three weeks for them to unban me with four to five emails per week trying to get them to acknowledge me. That's terrible. I remember hearing about that beard and I was just like, what nonsense. But it doesn't surprise me at all. Actually, I guess Extra Credits is a big example of a channel just not splitting everything since they keep extra history on the main channel, but they split off on some other things, I think. Yeah, Extra Credits are pretty huge though, aren't they? So it probably wouldn't harm them to make multiple channels because they've got massive fan base that will sub to them wherever they go. Whereas someone like me, you know, I'm... I'll have zero subs and it'll be like, yeah, I'll never get any, <laughs> you know, it'd be hard to climb that mountain again. So I can bug you whenever. Well, maybe. <laughs> Depends what you say. It's true though. Happy birthday. Hi, G GL. Thank you so much for the happy birthday. I appreciate it. It's been a very lively birthday stream. Three or four years is how long this has been in development. No, I was um just I streamed just video games for my first couple of years as a streamer. Um, we didn't do Raindrop Chronicles streams until twenty nineteen, so couple of years. But it, it's evolved. It's changed a lot since then. Like back then, it was like a fun joke project. I didn't think it would go on Steam or anything like that. But then over time, I was like, okay, I'm kind of obsessed with Carol the Barrel. She's my spirit animal. So that's it. It's going to be the, a thing for me forever. That's basically what happened. Um, the emotes, I remember when you first added Little Finger Cappy. Gosh, you've got a good memory, Chubb, if you remember that. And then there was Cool Cat Tyrion. They don't care, as we said. <laughs> and you can climb any mountain with the right equipment. She streamed a lot of RimWorld. Yeah, that was one game I played. I cried, didn't I, Tox, when the cow died. She was softer soul than even, even now back then. Oh, yeah, I was really soft back then. I was bullied, you know, but... Now, no one would get the better of me. I'd just ban them in a second. <laughs> I've banned so many people now in my time that you just naturally get hardened to it. But when I was a baby streamer, you know, you, you want to give people a chance more and you get walked over. Um, back in 2017, Rose was a professional walking off edges while reading chat room. Yeah, because I can't multitask. Not that I'm really in her life or anything. Got a meeting or so, so see you later. Lurk. Enjoy the lurk, fam. Oh, Rose is caught up. Yeah, I've tried to get a bit quicker now with reading through the chat. sounds entertaining it was very funny it was good i enjoyed the video game stream especially dark souls um because they're just so challenging and the viewers love that seeing you beat bosses and things um and i think dark souls in particular worked really well for me because i'm so bad at certain games and it was almost like wow she did it when i finally beat it um, but then it could get, the problem with, with it was the back seat and I had issue with sometimes and that could get a bit frustrating in the end. You are way stronger now, I'm proud of you, your growth. Yay, thank you, Beard. I, damn it, I clicked before I was done typing. Yeah, well, my growth as a person anyway, I think, has um, evolved. Um, my growth as a stream is somewhat the same. It looked like I was going to grow a bit more at one point because I was getting, like I said, I started to peak to 50 viewers for a while while doing Raindrop Chronicles, but that just all died once um, the 24-7 weed cams and animal cams took over the science and technology category. Uh, 
So yeah, <laughs> it's um yeah when you get no followers for so long, it you just end up stagnating in the end. You're bad typing. Oh, you're forgiven. It's fine to type bad, folks. I do it all the time. You got to the end of the messages. Congrats. I did it just before 6 p.m. as well. Oh, no, it's after 6 p.m. I did it, though. I'm proud. Oh, wow, folks. I didn't expect today's stream to be such a chatty one. We actually didn't even do anything. Like, I thought maybe we would set up the Discord with new channels or... Um, talk about Patreon perks and all that kind of thing. Um, but we can do that next week. Um, today, I think, you know, there was a lot to talk about because I t mentioned quite a few things in that video and there was a lot to discuss. Um, that's for sure. Um, but yes, um, it's not like... The, the good thing about Twitch was that you guys were always updated with the game and what was happening. But to a degree, that's still going to happen because of the vlogs on YouTube. Just make sure you subbed, folks, um, to to this YouTube. I'm going to exclamation mark YouTube. Um, it's pretty good. I mean, all that's up there are three hour long vods of the streams. But I have tried to organise them in a really colourful and tidy way so that you can view categories of um, certain things that were discussed in stream. Um, so I'm probably I'm going to keep them there because... Uh, you know, it's it's going to just be bad for the algorithm if I enlist them anyway. Um, so I'll probably make a new playlist for all the, the VODs as well. I mean, all the vlogs, the short game dev vlogs that are released monthly. Um, I got there. <laughs> I'll be sure to be annoying in there. I'll try to remember. June the 6th was a big month. Um, day. Oh, was it? June the 24th is a big day. It's my birthday. Want to be annoying together? Yeah, I'll be annoying with your beard. Just popped in sad birthday, Rosary. She asked about how much did you turn into? Just curious. What do you mean turn into? Have I, t have I transformed folks into another, another being? <laughs> Um, looking at your analytics, oh, yeah, I get it now. Yeah, so I do get views. It's not like I don't. It's a dead channel. Um, because I have, I have almost three hundred vods, folks. That's a lot of videos. So because of that, you know, someone's gonna watch at least one of them now and again the videos themselves hardly have any views that they all have less than a hundred most of them um but uh yeah the odd person comes across them it's going to be much more watchable for people to see the shorter youtube videos for sure um 90 that's how she looks wow I'm, i've got the fountain of youth haven't i I, so, I certainly wouldn't mind being uh, young that age again because I'd feel like I've got all my life ahead of me if I was that young and that there's no pressure, no rush. Just do everything you want. But as you get older, you like sort of feel like you're on this ticking time thing and it, it gets pressurising. You've got to have a house gotta have all this um sweden's independence day oh happy sweden independence day on june 6th if that's when it was um but yes uh this is called rose rain blood rpg game devlogs at the moment um i'm gonna change the name i'm probably gonna change it to just raindrop rpg at some point so it's like completely the game, the brand, the game brand. Because um, that's also the the, twi the Twitter handle as well, Raindrop RPG. 
um, short and sweet. It tells people what the game is. It's an RPG and raindrop because that's like the key word in the saga. Um, the dependence from the Danes. Yeah, a bit of knowledge there. Always fun to learn something new. Rose can't tell us the true age because she would blow our mind with her immortality. I'm 132 today. That's my age. I'm old. A diplomat is the, the man who always remembers a woman's birthday but never remembers her age. Rose is a vampire confirmed. <laughs> Little known fact, tiny ears make a person seem younger. Do you think that's what it is that makes me look young, Tox? I've always wondered what it is that makes me look young. Because I'm very, like, petite, so I've always thought maybe that's it. But someone said, no, it's not your body, it's your face that makes you look young. And I was like, well, thank you. <laughs> I suppose it's true. Sometimes some people have tiny bodies but have like really old faces so they don't look that young. But I've got a young face, so that's nice, <laughs> apparently. Um, Gustav Vasa was named king after liberating the Swedes from the Danes in 1523. He was coronated King June the 6th. Oh, cool. It's always fun to learn a bit of history because when we did world build streams, I found out some really interesting things about empires and stuff. I felt like a real history nerd. It was surprisingly exciting. And talking about that, I will have to put those uh, in the law bible at some point. Where's our law bible? I haven't got it tabbed open at the moment. It's here though. Um... We're due for adding a number of world building articles. Um, if we get time next week, we'll do that together too. We'll flesh that law bible out. Um, but priority is going to be preparing for the new content and sort of talking together what that new content is going to be and how we're going to organise the Discord and Patreon perks and all that. Her ears, I've got really small ears, look. They've got, I've got no earlobes either. I'm an earlobe-less person. <laughs> still terms in, you still your good terms for term two. At least the fact that I'm immortal means that Raindrop Chronicles has no deadline because I'm going to still be alive in hundreds of years, so... <laughs> What is your height? I'm five foot three. Um, so, I mean, it's not that small. It's slightly smaller than average, but I'm very small framed. Um, it is a young face. My height is fun sized. Then Sweden took Denmark and Norway and Finland and Estonia, Lithuania and Latvia and a bit of Russia. Did they take... Yeah, Lithuania. Fun fact, I'm a quarter Lithuanian. I'm not I'm not fully Anglo-Saxon, folks. I don't have the face of an Anglo-Saxon though, let's let's be honest. Let's don't. I'm I'm too pointy. Got really strong sort of a strong jawline. You can't really see it much on stream because it's blended in. But I do have quite a pointy chin. And that, you know, that must be my Eastern European genes. <laughs> my granddad was from there on my mum's side. Rose might be a giantess for all we know. We only see the face. I might have no legs. I'm just a floating torso. The most northern part of Germany. Does it have a deadline? No one ever expects a, a sneak sweet sweet attack. My grandchildren will be able to play the raindrop harp. Is she good to know? I'm a mix of Belgian, Dutch, Swedish, I think British. Oh wow, you're everything, beard. But yes, I mean, even though I'm immortal, I have to make sure Raindrop Chronicles saga ends before you guys finish your lifespans because you guys need to play it all till the end. So as long as you're still here on this 
this earth when it's out that's uh, what matters most but mostly belgian and swedish sounds for i'm only lithuanian and british unfortunately i might be more though my dad doesn't actually know where he came from so i could have other others in other things in me but folks if we got the twitter still here Let's give this tweet some more love before we close stream today. If you haven't given it a bit of love already. I would have brought it already. <laughs> yeah, well, I hope you all keep up to date with the VODs. When, the VODs? Why do I keep calling them VODs? Vlogs when they come out. Because that'll be quite time consuming to do. To editing and stuff can be quite time consuming. But because I'm only doing them once a month, it's not going to like be like, whoa, this it shouldn't be too bad. Um, it does look like a Switch game, what Raindrop Chronicles does. My, my um, our friend, a friend of the community, Vagabond Dog, recently released his um, RPG Maker game on Switch. So you never know. We could do that ourselves one day, but from what I'm aware, it's not cheap to sort of be on the Switch. Um, like it is on Steam, you only have to pay the £70 submission fee to be on Steam. But it's obviously for console, it's a lot more price. So. But it's nice to know it's not impossible if if you if the game if a game can reach heights. Because um, Vagabond Dogs game was was pretty successful. So um, Discord is all I use anymore. I'm a lot happier. Yeah. What, what have you given up on? Oh, you closed your Twitter. I've just read that now. You closed your Twitter and your Facebook and your Insta. Facebook's really bad. That's my least favourite. Sorry, Facebook fans. Twitter's getting really bad too, to be honest. I kind of don't look at my timeline at all these days. Very, very rarely because there's always some uh, nonsense going on. Um, I am half mum, half dad. That's all I know about where I came from. I born too late to explore the earth, born too late to explore space. Born just in time to enjoy raindrop. I was, it's really cool. You got I've got people here that actually are excited. <laughs> you know, it's really nice. Like, we got some really cool, very excited people that hang out in these streams, which is all I can ever ask for. Snap, Insta, Facebook, Twitter, Discord, very active here and right on YouTube and so on. Oh, wow, how'd you keep up? Mostly Twitter and Discord. I respect you no matter what you are, whatever that is. So be mom, dad, I have just one question. How do I make stew? <laughs> hey, random. You don't. Wow, guys, I'm going to have to close it up now. Wow, thanks so much for coming in and chatting, though. It's been a, a really big uh, day, a really big stream, big news, um, a big reveal today. I was very nervous because I know, you know, some people here love the streams, come to nearly every week. So I wasn't looking forward to revealing that. Um, because of that, because it's never fun to take away something fun from our lives. It's fun for me still, but it's about playing smart and doing the wisest thing for the sake of the project, the game and myself. And no one knows how it's going to go and where this next chapter is going to take us, but we'll see. We'll, we'll find out, won't we, as time goes on. Did we have cake on stream? If not, we need one before the end. I've got an imaginary cake. I've got presents to open as well once I've got finished streaming. So I'm excited. I'll tell you guys what I've got when we next chat. So 
all right folks so i'm gonna go now i'm gonna spam you with the twitters because if you haven't seen it already um make sure you do because that's what there's a big massive announcement on there about the direction of of uh, my content where it's gonna go um and um next week we're gonna we're gonna chat about what we can do what we can have on patreon what we can question and answers if anyone's got any thoughts that pop in the head about you know the streams the the content feel free to ask um because we're not we're not saying we're not saying bye just yet we're gonna have another few streams before we gone for good um we'll, we'll take it to a 260 um, thank you, Drew. Thank you. Did you get my present? Was it what was the present? <laughs> uh, have a nice day, Thank you. Take care, guys. Thanks so much for hanging out. Hope you have an awesome weekend, and I will see you on Tuesday. Bye. Bye bye.